I'd like to thank everyone for coming to uh, share this special day with me and Dion. You're the one I dream it wouldn't have been possible without uh, the love and support of others. Looks into my eye. Time flies by so quickly. It doesn't seem that long ago since Dion was born. Dean is a considerate and caring woman who I'm proud to have as my daughter and I'm sure Danny will today be proud to now call his wife. Danny, my son, I love you so much. On your wedding day, I'm overcome with so many happy emotions, love, gratitude, excitement and joy. You could not have found a better bride to spend the rest of your days with. And Dion, I thank you for making my son so happy. I am more grateful to you than words can possibly say. Uh, I can honestly say Danny is one of the best guys I know. He's loved by all. He's been a brilliant friend over the years and someone I continue to look to for advice and guidance on many things. Danny and Dion, tonight we celebrate you. We all wish you a lifetime of happiness, love, health, success and laughter. And I hope you have a wonderful time together. And in Jamaica, you both deserve it. I can't stress enough how I am the proudest man today. Seeing my daughter looking so happy. To you both, I know you will have a great life together and continue to be happy. You are amongst people today who care and love very much about you and wish you all the happiness in the world now and in the future. You are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Danny and Dean. Today you entered as individuals, but you will leave here as husband and wife. I am sure the majority of you know me. I am the quiet one of the family, Danny's mum. As many of you know, our family can be a little crazy we can be loud and maybe even intimidating to outsiders who don't know us. But we are also fiercely loyal. We would do anything for each other and we love each other dearly. There are really not enough words to describe the sense of peace that a mother feels in her heart when she knows that her child is taken care of. I know that no matter what happens, Danny and Dion will take care of each other with patience, love and understanding. I know that my son is in good hands and that he has found the perfect woman to be his wife. Danny and Dion, I wish you nothing but happiness, success and endless love that will burn brighter and stronger between you as your days go by. Do you, Danny, take Dion to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to love? <laughs> <laughs> do you promise to rejoice with her through the good times and remain true to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. I do, and take you, Danny, to be my wedded husband. I, Danny, take you, Dion, to be my wedded wife. Danny, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and as a symbol of our marriage. Dion, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and as a symbol of our marriage. It is now therefore my duty, my honour and my very great privilege to announce your legally husband and wife. Should I give your wife a kiss? Yeah.
afternoon. <clears throat> as father of the bride, it's my privilege to give the first speech. And as I get to go first, you've got nothing to compare it to. So look at me as a warm up act. <laughs> During the time we've known Danny, we've come to realise how special he is to Dion and how much of a kind, caring, pleasant and genuinely nice guy I've been doing that. Uh, he is. When Dion was first introduced to the family, I hoped that she wouldn't be scared of. You could instantly tell that she was a wonderful person and you could see how much she cared about Danny and how deep her love for him was. Welcome to the special day of the new Mr. and Mrs. Lally. It may come as a shock that I'm actually a little nervous standing here today as it is such a great honour for me to be asked to be best man. Living in the military, living up in Scotland, I only came back for a handful of weekends at a time. And 100% without fail, Lally was there every single weekend that I came home. So that just shows the credit to the man that Dion has, has married today, that he'll always make the effort for his friends. And for that, Lau, thanks very much. Today has been absolutely wonderful. Even Danny looks like he's worn a suit before. But in all seriousness, it's been an absolute pleasure to be part of the most important day of your life. I've never seen you both happier. So the one thing that Danny will never have to worry about is marriage turning his hair grey. Over the years, I have so many fond memories of my son. His first words, his first steps, his first day at school. I had so many emotions. Imagine how I feel today He's on his wedding day to a beautiful and lovely woman. The plain truth of the matter is that Daddy is the main person responsible for who he is now. And this person that sits before us today is a person of exceptional character. He is a beautiful individual inside and out, and I'm so blessed to be his mum. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask you to stand and raise a glass and join me in a toast to our two VIPs, my daughter Dion and my son-in-law Danny, the bride and groom. Cheers. Look how sad my wife is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To be honest, uh, Dion planned everything. <laughs> and I, uh, I did nothing. So I won't say much more, uh, but what I will say is that today Dion has made me the happiest man alive and she has mapped it well. So if we could all uh, raise a glass to toast my beautiful wife, Dion. Yeah.